Jonathan Majors speaking out on GMA about his conviction. Give you the highlights from the interview. Your reaction to that verdict? Shock. Hmm. How, how, is, how is that possible? Based off the evidence, based off the prosecution's evidence, let alone our evidence, how is that possible? If you watch those videos and you reverse that, and you saw a black man chasing a young white girl down the street, screaming and crying, that man is gonna be shot and killed in the streets of New York City. Major's defense team shared these photos, which he says show the injuries he received that night, which were deemed inadmissible in court. She says inside the car, you hit her in the face, yeah. twist her arm behind her back, fracture her middle finger. Yeah, that did not happen. How did those injuries come about? I wish to God I knew. You feel you're not responsible for her injuries at all? I shouldn't have been in the car. I shouldn't have stepped out of the relationship. I shouldn't have been in the relationship. I don't know that he answered that last question, I'll be honest with you. Uh, but Majors did say, say a lot, if you will. He was asked about comparing his love interest to Coretta Scott King and former First Lady Michelle Obama. People were saying, well, why was he telling this woman to be like Coretta Scott King and, and Michelle Obama? It was me trying to give an analogy of, of what it is I'm aspiring to be. You know, these great men, Martin, President Obama, um, and trying to give a reference point to that. One of the things I also say is like, I need her. In that case, Grace, to make the same sacrifices that I am making. Through it all, Major's new girlfriend, actress Megan Good, has remained by his side, even present for our interview. How would you describe your relationship? Well, she's an angel. She's held me down like, like, a, like, a, like a Coretta, you know? I'm so blessed to have her, you know? The relationship is still fresh, but you know, I think I found her. I want, I'm gonna ask you again to leave Coretta Scott King alone. Do not keep bringing her up. We are, it's January. That's the reason enough. I need you to stop and I would, you know, the King family has lawyers and things that I'm not suggesting anybody get to, but we'll get back to the things that he said other than this, but I, I need you to stop on behalf of the, well, just stop it. Uh, majors comparing Megan Good to Coretta Scott King in the lead up to MLK Day withdrawal, the ire of social media. Who are the PR people who prepare these people for these sit down interviews? Users online would use various meme reactions. There's Nene. Brittany Williams says, Credit Scott King looking down from heaven this morning like, now why am I in it? And I have the same reaction. And that sounds like Nene, and she'd be right. Juju Offer, the black community every time Jonathan Majors brings up Coretta Scott King's name. Yeah, seen from Do the Right Thing, right? No, oh, you gotta stop, you gotta stop. And then there's, well, this one. Jonathan Majors, Megan Good helped me down like Coretta Scott King, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I was gonna mention Dr. King, but I decided against it. But you see that, yeah, you remember what Will said? That was ill advised. And poor Lapita was like, what, what's going on? Is this part of the show? Is it a skit? At any rate, Jonathan Majors, I, I don't think that was his finest interview. I don't. I think what happened to him is just a disaster. And I don't even, I don't wanna say who's disaster, what, who's, it's a disaster. And this interview furthered the disaster, Ravana. And his answer to why he raised Coretta Scott King and former First Lady Michelle Obama, when they go low, we go high, was ridiculous. 
Yeah. The woman he was speaking to perhaps did not have the contextual, she didn't have the ability, apparently. He could have easier, easier for him to raise Sharon Osborne and Ozzy and their loyalty to one another. Someone else. But this is offensive. And I think if he intended to get something out of this interview to restore his public image in some way or begin to repair it, it was uh, obstructed by, we can't stop talking about Coretta and Michelle and why he's mentioning them. It was a very bizarre mess yeah. of an interview. Yeah. And I can't help but maybe be a little bit of a conspiracist, but he was involved in the Marvel franchise, mm-hmm. had a lot in the works with Disney, and Ooh. Disney owns ABC. Mm-hmm. Who did this interview but ABC? And so yeah. maybe I'm being a little bit imaginative, but I can't help but think it was Disney trying to save face over all that they had invested in this man before things got ugly. And, you know, it's, I can understand why he would want to do it because he Mm -hmm. thought he could make himself look good, but he just came out looking worse and worse as the interview continued. He wasn't able to stop engaging in his bizarre behavior and it felt fake. It felt fake because he says he doesn't know how the woman got those injuries. A court of law was able to determine how she got those injuries and they put the blame on you. You think that by then he would have had a better more prepared answer than that, especially given all of the allegations that have now been levied against him uh, and the write-ups that have been done investigating that. I know that there's an investigation going on and uh, for a different instance of abuse in New York. You know, uh, it's just embarrassing. It's embarrassing mm-hmm. and to, you know, he compared not, you know, he didn't just ask them to behave like uh Coretta Scott King or Michelle Obama. He compared himself to Barack Obama and to Martin Luther King Jr. Oh and it, yeah, moving, especially right before yes. MLK Day, but you know, any day, it's it's an inappropriate. It's, maybe it's not for that, me to yeah. say, but I mean, it's a it, it's inappropriate. It's an inappropriate comparison. And 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 mind you, this is a man who has gotten some support from. Aspects and, and certain groups within a community who thinks the justice system, rightfully so, is not fair. It's lopsided. And when you have a, a white reported victim and a black <laughs> accused, they're not going to get a fair shake, the black man. So he had he had that there. I love Megan Good. I think she's adorable. I think she's talented. I didn't need to see her with a ponytail uh, looking off. Like, you know, when the soap operas go to commercial and there's that dramatic. It's as dramatic as they go out to hold the scene there and hold, hold the drama, hold the drama. You're right. They they may be madly in love. They may be supported. They may be soulmates. But I, like you, found it to be orchestrated and fake. And again, I have to ask, who prepared these these people for this interview? Right. Who? You got to go. Nope. You're done. We're done here. 